Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Charles Jamlin and today I'm gonna give you a review on the Osprey Cyberport Day Pack. Right here. Now earlier in my travels, I used to always bring my 11 inch MacBook Air, which fit perfectly fine in the Osprey Daylight Day Pack. However, as I explored more long-term travel, I started to bring my 15-inch MacBook Pro, which is my main workhorse when it comes to a lot of the work that I do. So I needed to find now a day pack that allowed me to carry my MacBook Pro, whether it's out and about traveling into a city, or it's just me trying to do some work inside the airplane, without having to constantly pull out my main backpack from the overhead compartment. I turned to Osprey and did a bit of research and came across the Osprey Cyberport Day Pack, as you can see right here. So first, let's talk about the exterior of the backpack. It's made from a different type of material than that of the Osprey Daylight Day Pack. It's a fabric-like texture that probably doesn't lend itself well to being waterproof. So the clear difference here being that the Osprey Cyberport Day Pack it's more aligned to perhaps a technology travel commuter versus someone out there looking to do hiking in the wilderness. Now looking at the back of the backpack, you'll see that it's covered by a mesh material that should lend itself to breathability and comfort and perhaps deal with some excessive sweat as you're wandering the country. Now the back of the backpack is actually very, very padded. Um, similarly to are its shoulder straps which have a very thick and heavy padding as well. Which makes a lot of sense being that this is a day pack that will carry your 15 inch laptop. So there might be some significant weight added to the backpack. Therefore, the padded straps are gonna be very helpful when it comes to comfort. Again, as with all of Osprey's backpack offerings, or pretty much most of them, this comes with a nice chest strap, as you can see right here. You simply click, and tighten and it gives you a lot of extra support to carry that backpack and the shoulder straps themselves are actually very sturdy and do have a lot of padding as again the main emphasis should be on comfort with having a 15 inch laptop in the day pack there's definitely a sense of structure that fits ergonomically on your shoulders one of the main differences between this and the osprey daylight day pack is that there is no waist or hip belt therefore that's why there is a definite concentration or emphasis on comfort and stability when it comes to the design of the shoulder straps now in terms of capacity and size the osprey cyberport day pack has an overall capacity of 18 liters and is designed with various different compartments to hold a lot of your technology, mostly including your laptop in this bag. Starting off at the top, you'll see that the Osprey Cyberport has a nice deep pouch, sort of a top loading compartment where you can easily take things in and out without having to open up the main two compartments. Now, looking at the front of the backpack, we have the first main compartment here, which is a bit gimmicky in my personal opinion, but it could be highly functional. If you look at it, it is a compartment that will actually hold for an iPad or some sort of mobile tablet, which you can put right in here with a plastic touch um, sensitive cover. So you can easily use your iPad or your mobile tablet without even having to take it out of the bag itself. Now, I probably wouldn't recommend putting anything sharp if you're not gonna put a tablet in here as this plastic covering um, could easily get damaged. But notice here that there's a little bit of padding inside to obviously support your tablet should you use one in there. And there's this little, pocket or some sort of stylus holder I would imagine that you could put your stylus or a pen or a pencil in here as well. Now looking at the main compartment of the day pack here we have the main storage area 
where you're presumably put in your laptop as well as other things. So you can see here, it's very, very roomy. Here is the area to which you would put your 15 inch laptop, which has a nice feature of a very secure Velcro strap. See, it is a padded area to which you would put your 15 inch laptop. And it's, uh, I'd say it's pretty padded, it's pretty durable. Although I wouldn't recommend you throwing around your day pack despite having all this cushioning and all this padding in here. Now looking at the inside of the compartment, there is a plethora of various pockets that you can use for a lot of your things. There are these two mesh liners here, which we can hold all sorts of little loose trinkets and change perhaps. There are small pockets here to which you can put pens, erasers, or things of that nature. In addition, there are also two additional sturdier mesh, I'd say pen holders on this side. There's a red plastic tab that you can attach something very important to, like keys. And there's also a large pocket here, a large padded pocket. Now when it comes to weight, the Osprey Cyberport Daypack is definitely a lot heavier than the Osprey Daylight Daypack. But again, these are targeted towards two different types of users, this being for the outdoor adventure junkie, and this being perhaps for those who need a bag for work and business purposes. Now when it comes to style and overall look, the Osprey Cyberport Daypack definitely wins hands down. It definitely looks cleaner, more stylish, and just something that really looks very professional that sits very nice and snugly on your back as you're wandering out the city in a different country perherhaps. It comes in a variety of different colorways. Herringbone gray, um, red, chestnut brown, and the black pepper variation that you see right here. Now, if you're looking for a day pack that looks great, has a lot of compartments and space, but most importantly, can hold a 15 inch laptop, then I highly recommend you purchase the Osprey Cyberport day pack. At $55 on amazon.com, it's a very reasonable investment. Now, I'll definitely be using this day pack extensively on my upcoming travel, so definitely stay tuned for that. So thanks everybody for watching this video. If you have any questions about the Osprey Cyberport day pack, definitely let me know in the comments section below. And if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, definitely give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe as your support is very, very much appreciated as I share my joy of traveling and adventure with all of you out there. All right, thanks, bye-bye offerings we've also got a chest strap on this as with all chest straps you can easily buckle and tighten this and now it will offload some of the weight from the shoulders across your chest giving you again more comfort and more stability not to mention it looks pretty cool a defining feature that makes a great day pack is by having a hydration slot as you see here by the h2o symbol you can easily put a reservoir securely Oh God, lift up um, for her, that's, oh my God.